And we're back, and I have to be up front with you. I'm really excited about our guest and his product. Our guest is Andrew Willis with Sideline Scout. Andrew, welcome. Good to have you on board, lad. Thank you for having me. First of all, we want to say up front, this is a local product. I mean, you guys came up with this here in Claremore, right? Correct, correct. We, we are from Claremore. Um, we, we have an office in the Tulsa area, but, but right, around, right around local. The thing that knocked me out when I heard this just a moment ago in the control room, you guys were involved in the Olympics. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. We, we started working with the University of Indiana, and uh, Coach Johansson there is a very forward-thinking, innovative mind, and uh, he heard about our product and what we were doing in high school football, and uh, he knew it was something that, w was, that they could really work with uh, in diving as well. All right, let's, let's kind of... Let's kind of explain what we're seeing here. This, of course, is a diagram for football. And we're not talking about what you folks at home are used to, which is instant replay. This is something for the coaches. Yeah, the, the difference is here is, is that the coaches are prepared for, for the activity to happen. And uh, they record it. As soon as it's over, it gets sent back to them within 10 seconds. And, and they can review the previous uh, dive or play depending on what it happened and and how it's marked up you know in in football they can see offense defense run pass kick uh, those type of statistics um, in diving it's a little bit different but it's the same concept the applications are endless I mean I'm sitting here thinking golf baseball fly fishing <laughs> anything this thing would work for because you can carry it with you and it's pretty much affordable it is. It's affordable and it's an all-in-one system, which means you don't need the internet to use it. You just bring our system with you and it works wherever you go. It would work in the middle of the desert the same way it would work uh, in the middle of New York City. No kidding. How did this come about? Who came up with the concept? So my business partner, Stephen Smallwood, um, his, his son is a football player, is, a, is a, an athlete for Metro Christian Academy. Um, in early uh, 2013 there was a rule change that happened in high school football that allowed the use of technology on the sidelines. Um, what we've seen in the NFL is they send pictures down to the sidelines and coach can see formations. Well, we knew that we could take video, compress it, and share it in the same fashion uh, and, and we knew it would be very beneficial for, for the coaches. So you tried it and it worked? Yes, we, we built a concept and used it throughout that season the uh, used it the next season 2013 with Metro Christian they used the proof of concept um, we started talking to some other coaches in the area and 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 we knew we were on to something so then we went on a full-fledged uh, development um, developed the system uh, and got ready to sell it golly this sounds like it sounds like a dream come true for you guys I mean I know there's a lot of hard work involved and I don't mean to gloss over it but holy Toledo, this is this is quite a mark you've made. It, it is, and you know, it's it does it doesn't even seem like work. It's 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 mi mixing technology and sports, which you know are two things that we love. So it just really comes naturally, and it's we're just very lucky to be doing it. Well, where are you at this point now? Are you at a point of marketing only, or are you still developing new concepts for the unit? Well, uh, for football, we are. Uh, what we're doing is um, annually we, we put in some upgrades to the system. This is our, our third year now that we've been selling the product. Mm -hmm. So each year we, we come together, we get together with our clients, with, with coaches, and we talk about uh, the potential around new features that could, could help them win ball games. So they're able to give you feedback on how the unit performed and what they'd like to see developed. Correct. Correct. Wow. So we take that, we take that feedback, we package it up, um, we put it in our in our next update, and um, and now we're to the point where we're we're ready to expand. Um, we're ready to, to to market all over the U.S. Um, we've got about 40 clients here in Oklahoma uh, in high school football. Sure. Um, so we're ready to expand that as well as to move into to other sports. What's uh I don't want you to give away any plans, and I'm not, you know, I, I know some things on the drawing board you don't want to talk about, and that's okay. But can you give us an idea of what we can expect from the unit in, say, the next couple of years? Well, I can say this. Um, having the opportunity to work with the USA team 
and prepare them for the Olympics was such a great experience. Um, I would expect to, to see us in that realm and continue maybe to, uh, to work with other Olympic teams. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, if you can do that for football and swimming and diving, just imagine what a GoPro feeding information back on bobsled or two angles of skiing, you know, that sort of thing. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Yes, uh, exactly. And, and we have the ability to pull in multiple angles, um, splice it together where you can, you can choose which angle you want to see. You can pause it uh, in the middle of the activity and move to a second angle, which picks up right where it was left off. Oh. Now, have you, are you at a point where you have a production company that cranks this stuff out? We are doing it internally right now. Um, you know, of course, we're, we're looking at, at different areas, ways that we can, uh, you know, reduce the cost of the product and, and, and what we're putting together to, to make it more affordable for our clients. All right. One more question, and I promise you, I'll let you go. Down the road, this is going to, this thing's going to blow up in your face. You're going to have more orders than you can fill. Is it safe to assume that you envision a time when you're going to start having to hire more people? Yes, definitely, um, and that time is, is, is coming on us very quickly. So it's almost on you. Yes, yes. Holy Toledo. Andrew, thank you. Thank you. For taking time to come in and share what I think is a wonderful concept, uh, and I know the folks at home are doing the same thing, and there's probably some coach sitting there right now going, you know what? <laughs> Which is so. terrific. I hope so. This is wonderful. <laughs> Andrew, thank you. Thank you. For sharing it with us. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, he's... Well, he doesn't carry a whip, and he's not afraid of snakes, but he is an archaeologist and an assistant professor here at RSU, and he's going to be here to talk about some of his recent discoveries. We'll have our guest right after this. <laughs> 